Hi guys, I'm Isel from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you both. Um, and congratulations on a fantastic series. I really enjoyed it. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, thank nice you to meet so you much. Well. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> congratulations. I'll start with you. Um, you. What was your inspiration behind the story? Because I know you did a lot of theatre work in Sweden and, and worked on things like War of the World series. So was it kind of a culmination of all these things that inspired you to tell the story? I think basically um, I, I've always wanted to do something about space and I, and, uh, and I wanted to do a sci-fi series that felt pretty grounded uh, and uh, authentic and something that was uh, emotional as well. And when I was kind of uh, researching it, I just got more and more interested in the in the effect that that leaving the earth can can have on people uh you know when you're when you're totally removed from everything you've ever known and you can see the earth as a little blue dot that you can hold in your hand that has that tends to have a profound effect on people understandably and they come back changed and i and i wanted and i wanted to ask whether whether the change is in them or whether there's they genuinely do come back to some somewhere that they can never quite um, fit into uh, again, and uh, yeah, I, 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 that's that's kind of where it come from. And I also I also had this. Um, I was on holiday once uh, in a cabin in the Swedish forests, and my wife and I heard heard a, a distant child calling "Mama, Mama" for a couple of nights running. We could never find this child, and and I always thought, I wonder who that child is. And and then through writing this, I discovered that it was. Uh, that it was Alice looking looking for her mum, so it's uh, it was it was crashing those uh, those two things together and trying to make a make an authentic story out of it. In terms of preparation for both of you, did you actually meet up with astronauts to kind of discuss that and get a little bit more information behind the package before you told the story? Absolutely. Yeah. We we uh, had some wonderful consultants. Our main astronaut consultant was uh, Scott Kelly, who I had actually met previously, and uh, he was he was wonderful. He has spent more than a year on the International Space Station, so he was able to give us an idea what it feels like, obviously both in space and when you come back to Earth. He said it took almost a year to get back to normal, or his wife told us that part, and uh, and. And mm -hmm. he also was very helpful with the actors in how they move and and uh, the things that we would use to. Uh, we wanted one of the things we wanted to do was use things on the ISS that you would use differently on Earth. So, for example, in the opening uh, episode when Paul gets injured, I said, "Well, how would you secure him to the wall?" And he said, "Well, there's," he said, "duct tape." There's you have no resistance. It's zero gravity, so you just want to keep them still. So we just duct tape them to the wall. So that's what we did. And there's different uses of different things, like wet ones and stuff that we use in the story that you would work, use differently in space. So I think that was really interesting for us that only somebody who's been there could could bring to the table. That's amazing. And also in terms of the casting process, I mean, you've got Rumi as Joe. You know, you've got this amazing cast. Um, was it kind of immediate who you wanted to make those choices to play those characters? How did they come on board? I th I, I kind of think so. Um, re really, that character uh, Joe was was written as as a Swedish uh, a woman, and and a very and a very strong yet also vulnerable and emotional uh, uh, Swede, and uh, and it was really only knew me I, I i i think who could have uh, played it and as soon as we as soon as she read the scripts she was quite annoyed because she was going to take <laughs> like a year off and but she said oh god i have you know i have to do this <laughs> she, why have you sent this to right me she, yeah she said it was it was written for her and, and and it was and then jonathan we all wanted jonathan banks and i i have a history with him I called him on a Friday and I said, I'm going to send you something. I think you're going to like it. And he called the next morning and said, I'm in. And so that was that was that was exciting. And then I would say that the most challenging was the girls. Yeah. Well, the Alice is played by by twins because of time, uh, your, the time constraints for for kids and our wonderful casting a director. We had a, a special child casting director, Sarah Tornix. I'm going to say that name wrong, but she found the twins. And when I first met with them, it was on Zoom, and they were on two different computers and in two different rooms. 
and they were amazing. And I was watching them thinking, oh my gosh, I think, I think this is them. It was the first kids that I met. But I did wonder whether they were, had the playfulness of children because they're a couple years older than they're playing. And then as they were switching between computers, I caught them sticking their tongues out at each other. And I was like, yeah, they're perfect. <laughs> it kind of stands or falls with child actors on the quality of the actor. And yeah. I don't think we could have got better actors grown up or child for uh, for any role yeah and i often think that this it, the series took a long time to develop you know years and years and years and i realized kind of late on in that process that it had taken so long because we had to wait for davina and rosie to be old enough to play that part and i think that's true mm -hmm. I, think, I agree you know. i agree they are they, and they're completely interchangeable they can step into each other's shoes and you can't tell the difference it's amazing well, you could definitely see it. Thank you so much for speaking to me. I'm out of time. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.